Hi, Pam here from How To Pam. And what I'm going to do today is show you how we get our water. We don't have a well, so we have to import our water. We have to go and get it from town at a water station. Most towns have a water station. So we went, we got a 250 gallon water tote, and we didn't fill it because the truck wouldn't handle it. And I don't want to break my truck. So we didn't fill it all the way. And now what we're going to do is we're going to transfer the water from our tote into our water cistern. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We have a hose, three inch hose that we hook up. <laughs> get her on there good. tighten it to make sure the water doesn't go spewing everywhere. You want to do it as tight as possible. The water coming out my push, push the hose off. Not easy. Extra little good luck. There we go. So and then this hose will go to our pump. And we'll hook up our two inch hose to our pump. This is our transfer pump. This baby up. Get in there, good. When you have that in there as far as possible, then you're going to tighten this one also. As tight as you can. And one more extra turn for good luck. There we go. Okay, we am take the other end of our hose. going to put it into our water cistern. And we're going to take the lid off and put our hose in there. Make sure it's in there a little bit. You don't want the pressure of the water flopping it out everywhere. Okay, once that is done, you'll see this is where your water comes out, down here, and then into our pump, and it comes out through here, and we have it winterized, so we have a tracing tape and bubble wrap preparing for winter. And I have another one here that's identical, that would be easier to explain. This here is a presser, pressure switch and they usually come set, preset by the manufacturer at 2040. And what that is, is 20 pounds of pressure by, for it to kick on and it will cut off on 40 pounds of pressure. So here is where you have your water go in and here is where the water will come out. And we have ours all insulated, so I figured I'd show you on this one. Okay, now we're gonna go outside and I'm gonna show you how we've connected it. Now, on the 
the outside of our building, you can see we still have our hose connected and all taped up for winter, all winterized tracing tape. And we have it under here to allow for, you know, safety so you're not tripping up over it or anything like that. And again, you follow over here to our camper. And this is where it goes into the trailer. And this is the cord for the, the tracing tape that will heat our hose and the bubble wrap will help with the insulation. So we'll plug it in. And then I'll go show you how to get the water going. Okay? Okay. What we're going to do here, again, she's all hooked up and ready to go. Sometimes you might have to prime it, and we've already had this pump going for a little bit on other things, so here we go. Turn it on, and hopefully... Thank you. 